forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, every Susquehanna Valley location, with the exception of two, broke records today. We saw record high temperatures over a very large area. Highs today were about 30 degrees above normal. Our average highs of 48 degrees. A lot of places were in the upper 70s today. And it's leading to a very pleasant evening as we take a live look from our Lebanon sky cam right now. Just a couple of high clouds in the sky. Other than that, it is a very quiet evening so far. We look at our current numbers, 78 still in Lebanon at this hour. Dew points are down into the low 40s. Uh, this is actually one of the reasons why we've had such a quick jump with our temperatures from some spots were in the 30s this morning all the way up to near 80 degrees and it's because this dry air in place across the region it mixes out quickly and we see those temperatures skyrocketing uh, winds are calm right now but at times we have had some breezes on the order of about 10 to maybe about 15 miles per hour through the day our other current numbers still remain very mild in the upper 70s most spots still hanging on to 80 degrees in Chambersburg along I-81 there uh, low 70s and one of our cooler spots the high terrain around Lewis town at 73 just a few high clouds streaming through right now but we are watching this cold front just to our northwest it's taking all of this moisture which the source comes all the way from the gulf of mexico texas louisiana getting hammer, uh, hammered really hard uh, rainfall amounts there about 10 to 12 inches of rain in the last 48 hours but that moisture is rounding this area of high pressure which right now is off the coast and it eventually is going to be pushing down towards us, and so we will increase our rain chances starting tomorrow. But in the meantime, it is a really nice evening for us, mainly clear. Temperatures falling down through the 60s, and then into tonight, we bottom out near 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies. So the clouds will increase somewhat overnight tonight and as we head into tomorrow. And through the day tomorrow, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. But I will say the farther north you go, the more clouds you will see and also the chance of a stray shower, especially in our northern counties tomorrow uh, and going into tomorrow evening showers for everybody into the overnight as we track this front that will start to slide through. So right now we've got this high pressure off the coast that's pumping up a lot of heat through the day. In fact, places in Florida were the same temperature as uh, we saw here in the Susquehanna Valley. But like I said, there's a lot of moisture coming up and over top of this ridge, and we will watch that ridge flattening down and eventually going away as we go into the next 48 hours, and that will likely lead to some rain chances for us. Let's break it down for you through the rest of the evening hours. Things stay rather quiet. There becomes the clouds, though, overnight tonight, and a couple of showers in the northern part of the state as we go through tomorrow morning. Again, the farther north you go, the higher chance of seeing a shower. And look at this. Could be well into the 70s tomorrow once again. Our record tomorrow is 72. According to that, we are not going to have any problems breaking that record tomorrow. Then the showers start to arrive late tomorrow evening. They will start to squeeze down to the southeast and then dry up here into early Friday morning. So Friday morning, maybe a couple of clouds around, and then high pressure builds in and we get back into sunshine. But notice the temperatures, they will be cooler than what we have been seeing the last couple of days. So notice uh, mid-70s for those highs tomorrow, down into the low 60s for the highs on Friday. And then we bottom out near 60, looks like heading through the weekend with increasing clouds on Saturday. We will watch for additional shower chances Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. That whole system finally slides eastbound, the one that's down near Texas and Louisiana. So showers are possible Sunday, Monday, also into Tuesday before things dry out, looks like, towards the middle of next week. And hey, we have a weather watcher umbrella to give away. This uh, today's winner is Richard Gallimore from Gettysburg. Richard, congratulations to you. You might be needing that here as we go into tomorrow evening, that, uh, that umbrella there. Now let's head to the Lancaster Toyota Traffic Center for a traffic update. Here's Danielle Woods. Good evening, Danielle. Good evening, Matt.